Good afternoon. My name is Jim Gallagher, and I'm the executive chef here at TPC River Highlands. As you've been adjusting to the current conditions, so is the culinary team. We've been working diligently to bring you a high standard of service through our food and beverage department in the form of a new takeout program, the Butcher's Basket, and the Grocery List. There are new offerings we will be providing along with a family meal option prepared hot and ready. We've designed a menu to make life easy and posted it on our member website. Simply call or email Maddie Harrington to place an order. In addition, we'll be filming some cooking demonstrations here at Grill 58 for you to follow along with at home. We are calling this program Cooking from the Cabinet. The ingredients needed to make these dishes are common household items, and most are available to purchase through our new Butcher's Block and Grocery List program. Golf is still available for those of you who wish to come out and play and get some much needed r, &R. In the meantime, please enjoy the following video presented by Chef Kevin as he prepares a classic favorite, Chicken Cabinet. and plus ready to go and that's simply just making sure we have all our ingredients exactly the way we want them and exactly the positions that we need. So we're going to start off with our parsley and we're going to grab a few sprigs from over here and we're going to break off the stems and only have the leaves ready and we're going to make ourselves a little pile okay? and we're going to rough chop that and this is going to be our garnish in the end but what we're going to do is we're going to try to start with the fresh ingredients keep our place nice and clean so that way when we get to the protein such as the bacon and the chicken we're not really having to worry about cross contamination and the best way to go about doing your garlic is to take the flat end of the blade and we're going to squish the garlic a little bit you'll hear it pop there we go All right, we get so there we have our garlic nice little mince all even, and that's good to go. All right. Now, we're gonna get into our bait. Now, traditional carbonara calls for a pancetta, which has a little bit of saltiness to it, but pancetta is not an everyday household item. Now, absolutely, you'd wanna get a nice pancetta cut from the deli and incorporate that into your dish if you're going to the traditional route, but we're trying to make things something that you can cook at home with ingredients you already have. We're gonna kind of simplify the dish a little bit. Now there's nothing wrong with the bacon, it's just what we have and we're gonna use it up. We wanna to try to use up anything and everything that we have laying around the house. Here's just another use for bacon, all right? So this is gonna be chopped a little bit bigger, about quarter inch by quarter inch. And we're gonna have three slices of that chopped and set aside. So there you have your bacon. Now, what we're gonna do with this uh, chicken is you can cube it if you like, but when I'm cooking it at home, and I like nice little strips, kind of pops on the top of the dish when we're going to bring it to the top. And nice good sized chunks. It's going to be the one of the highlights to this dish. So this ingredient, you want to make sure that there's plenty of it. You can see it all the way. So when we're seasoning, we're going to want to do the salt, like I was saying. And the pepper, we're going to go a little bit heavier for this dish. We want the pepper to be kind of a, a predominant flavor profile that's really going to come through. I prefer this uh, coarse pepper because it has a little bit of a crunch to it, a little bit bigger than the salt. The kosher salt we're going to use as well. Nice big flakes. Going to add some real depth to that dish. The next thing we're going to do is prepare our sauce. Now the sauce is for a carbonara an egg base. So we're only going to use three eggs for this. Okay. So we have our three eggs. We're going to take our measuring cup here. We're going to use approximately three quarters of a cup of grated parmesan. Go ahead and put that in. Grab our whisk. Handy dandy. And we're just going to mix that up. That right there is the mise en place that we'll need. We have the parsley, garlic, bacon, our chicken, and our sauce. After that, we can start going to the stove and get into action. So, let's go to it. We just want to make sure, like I said before, that everything we need is set aside. Our mise en place is ready. We're off to the races. I got my pasta. Pasta is going to go right into the water. 
And I'm just gonna do a very light squirt of oil. Very, very light. So we're gonna go ahead and get that in. So here. Pulling it up out of the water, twisting around in every which way or direction to make sure that it does not stick together. Because that's the last thing. All that bacon fat is really starting to build up on the bottom of the pan. So now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get the chicken in there. Okay, so we got that chicken going. Starting to get a little bit of color. Checking on our pasta. Best way to do that, pull a little bit out, give it a little bite. Now, we got some color going. Perfect, beautiful. Next, garlic. I'm gonna get that in there. Toss that around, do its thing. Now we're gonna pull the pasta off of the pot. Okay. Pull the heat up. Right. Now I wanna make sure we reserve a little bit of that pasta broth. So as you dump it, I had a pot set up underneath. We're gonna pull a little bit from that pot. Turn the flame off of this. You want to remove it from the heat. Don't want to add any more heat to this. We're just going to let that do its thing for 30 seconds. We're going to let the residual heat that's in the pan do the rest of the work from here on out. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our pasta. Okay. We're going to coat this pasta with some of that bacon fat and the chicken. Get that going. We're going to add in our egg mixture. got to do this fast. Toss the carbonara in with this egg. Letting the heat do the work. I'm going to add a little bit of that reserved pasta juice. Just a little bit. And we got to keep this moving otherwise the egg is going to cook on us and that's not what we want. We want a nice creamy consistency. And once you see that, we're all done. Bring our pasta bowl. So we're gonna do what's called money on top. We're gonna twist the pasta in the center, forcing all that good ingredients to the outside. Okay. I'm gonna take a little scoop here. I'm gonna spin it. Create a little bit of height. Take some of those money ingredients, keep them right to the top so everyone can see them. Okay. So we're going to take the grated cheese and put that right on top there. A little bit of parsley, our beautiful little garnish, and voila, there you have it, chicken carbonara made from fresh everyday ingredients definitely a dish you can impress your friends and loved ones with just make sure you have plenty of parmesan cheese because that's a huge hit with this dish chicken carbonara is definitely a crowd pleaser and a fun dish to make just make sure you have your mise en place ready because once you start you can't stop and that also goes for taking a bite once you start you can't stop so thanks again chef kevin cooking in the cabinet have a great day.